Hey guys, thanks for watching Eco Company. I'm Jordan, and Adam's headed out to the marina. You know, there's a lot of trash out there in our oceans, and he's meeting up with researchers to see just how bad the situation really is. But first, a group of high school students who love getting their hands dirty. Up next, on Eco Company, growing green never felt so crafty. It's a hands-on lesson with stuff destined for the dump. Eco Company starts now. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Eco Company. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brendan. Teens are making a difference everywhere you look these days, and you can too. And if you're looking for some ways to do it, no worries, we've got a few. First up, take on trash wherever you live. Jessica met up with a few teens trying to keep it out of our oceans. Your school has an eco club and it recycles. But does it have one of these? And who says going green can't be fashionable? Then, keeping toxic chemicals out of our environment. Coming up, I head to this school to talk about climate change and all the things everyone can do to help. Don't go away. Plastic, plastic, plastic. It's everywhere. In our landfills, lakes, and streams, and a lot of it ends up in our oceans. I met up with two teens who are trying to reduce our plastic use to help the whole planet. That wraps up another episode of Eco Company. Thanks for joining us. For more information about the stories in our show, or to give us feedback, check out our website at eco-company.tv. Or find us on Facebook. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. Well, that's it for us this week. Thanks for watching. You can find us on Facebook. And don't forget to check out our website at eco-company.tv. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. Wow, he's one very inspirational guy. Yeah, have you ever thought about how you can make a difference? We found some teens at one school making a big difference on their own campus. And it's a good thing they have gloves handy because they're sifting through the trash. So next up, Jessica visits a high school where students are taking aim against plastic in more ways than one. Did you know that growing your own food is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint? We found one group of high school students doing just that in an organic garden that they built from the ground up. Another way to take a stand? Start a movement. Take these next pioneers, teens turning green. This group of eco-warriors wants to green up our products, and they say it starts with reading the label. So are you ready to take action to save the planet? We met one teen already doing it. Then, teens reducing their carbon footprint by growing their own food. Growing your own food is great, but if you can't, that's okay. It's not the only way to green up your cafeteria. There's another way of getting healthier food into schools, and it's turning students into farmers in the process. And the view from up there. NASA satellites give us a bird's eye view of the planet and climate change, and scientists show us some of their research. Up next, meet a guy who does not know the meaning of the word stage fright. He's been trained by Al Gore to speak to hundreds of people across our globe about our climate. Even in China. Up next on Eco Company. He's a teen on a mission to save the planet. Welcome back to Eco Company. We just met a family who is making a difference when it comes to greening the environment. And the truth is, you're never too young to start. We found a group of fourth graders who are not only learning about recycling and composting, they're maintaining the tradition started by their predecessors. Up next on Eco Company, we're catching up with some teens who aren't afraid to get a little dirty. Eco Company starts now. That's it for us this week. Thanks for watching. You can check us out at Facebook or on eco-company.tv. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. So does your school have solar panels yet? If not, it could, thanks to Students for Solar Schools. It's a group founded by a teen in Southern California. And Jessica's paying a trip to his high school campus. What's up with the ozone layer these days? That's it for us this week on Eco Company. If you're doing something good to help the planet, we want to hear about it. Send us an email or video. Just go to eco-company.tv. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. Two girls who love fashion. And the environment. Put the two together, and you got a design team ready to green up the runway. Jessica catches up with the fashionistas behind leftover green beans. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Eco Company. I'm Brendan. And I'm Jordan. So what do you do on a chilly, breezy day at the beach? If you're the teens we're about to meet, you get wet. But what's a little cold water when it's all in the name of science? It's all in a morning's work for these guys. So composting is a great way to get rid of food scraps and help the planet. Brendan met up with some teens building their own compost bin at school. Well, that wraps up another episode of Eco Company. Thanks for watching us. For more information on the stories in our shows or to give us feedback, 
Check out our website at eco-company.tv. And check us out on Facebook. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brendan. First up, making the world a little greener. As you might guess, it's about growing plants, but it's also about a whole lot more. And we met up with some teens that are breaking ground in more ways than one. Let's go join them. All right, see you later. Eco Company starts now. If you're not hungry now, you will be in a minute. Up next, going for the greens. Teens get a lesson in sustainable living, then enjoy the tasty fruits of their labor. And it looks mm-mm good. So how do you get outside when school's in session? It's simple, build a garden. Plant some of your favorite fruits and veggies. And you've got your very own outdoor classroom. Let's check out some teens who did just that. Then, taking the runway by storm. Meet the teens behind leftover green beans. Two designers who prove going green is always in fashion. Life is tasting pretty good for the teens you're about to meet. That's because they're making a big difference when it comes to the food on their plate. They're learning how to grow food sustainably. I only wish I'd been there for the taste test. Then, green glam on the runway. Reducing energy dependency is what it's all about these days. Yeah, everybody's keeping a close eye on their energy bills. I ran into a group of teens helping homeowners green up by conducting energy audits. Endangered animals need your help too. Coming up next, saving a habitat. How one group of teens goes the extra mile to help out a species threatened by a green invader. And later, food never tasted so good. Well, that does it for us this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on the web at eco-company.tv and on our Facebook page. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. It's one of the most advanced climate research centers on Earth. Hi, everybody. You're watching Eco Company. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brendan. And today we've got some amazing stories about teens who are dedicated to help make a difference to the planet. We tracked down a cool crusader, which is pretty tough to do because he's a very busy guy. He was trained under former Vice President Al Gore, and he even started his own nonprofit group to help fight climate change. He accomplished all this all before his sophomore year in high school. Jessica has his story. Eco Company starts now. Up next on Eco Company, hitting creatures underneath the sand. Then it's lunchtime, and chemicals aren't on the menu. But first, fourth graders learn about recycling. When you think NASA, you probably think space shuttles or telescopes, right? Well, it turns out scientists are doing a lot more than just giving us a glimpse of the stars. They also have their eyes on Earth, its climate, and how it's changing. Adam's paying them a visit after getting cleared for takeoff. It's a new take on fashion. Which isn't always so green. Eco Company starts now. Hey guys, I'm back. And Adam, well, Jessica said the word party, and he was out of here. Good thing they took a camera with them. Plus, a campaign against chemicals. Eco Company starts now. We want to know what your family does to green up your household. Tell us in a video and upload it to our website at eco-company.tv. Next on Eco Company. One teen's mission to plant a million trees. Well, that's it for us this week. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out our website at eco-company.tv for more on the show. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. Up next on Eco Company. We've heard of a lot of things. Eco Company starts now. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Eco Company. I'm Jordan. And I'm Jelena. So, what do you and your family do together? Maybe a family project? We found one family who did just that, and in a big way. They decided to green up the family car and had a lot of fun in the process. So what's in your school's cafeteria? Coming up, one way you can get fresh fruits and veggies on the menu. More Eco Company is next. Eco Company starts now. Okay, so are you ready to green up your wardrobe? From your clothes, to bags, wallets, and even shoes. It's getting easier to go green these days and look smashing too. Some great fashionable finds next. Now, meet one teen on a mission of her own. She wants to plant trees, and a lot of them. One million to be exact. Brendan's catching up with her to lend a hand. Up next on Eco Company. Their stories will shock you. Marine mammals injured by our trash. These volunteers are dedicated to saving their lives. One big way to protect the planet. Don't pollute it with chemicals. Adam's giving us the lowdown on how to get rid of them safely. Up next on Eco Company. Teens doing good for the planet. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Eco Company. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brendan. So imagine if someone trashed your home. That's what we're doing to the oceans when our trash ends up there. It's not a good thing for marine life. 
Jelena has found a place where they nurse back injured mammals to health. Their stories of survival are nothing short of amazing. Thanks for tuning in to Eco Company. Be sure to check us out at eco-company.tv and fan us on Facebook. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. Up next on Eco Company, we'll meet Gertie. Hey gang, thanks for tuning in to Eco Company. I'm Adam. And I'm Jordan. This week's show is all about teens making a difference. From traveling across the globe to talk about climate change. To planting trees in their neighborhoods. And even creating a recycled fashion line. They're greening up the world around them. First up, Jessica's talking to some teens planting the seeds of change. Thanks for tuning in. For more on these stories and info on the show, head to eco-company.tv. Or check us out on Facebook. We'll see you back here next time. On Eco Company. <laughs>